Why does Japanese archery teach not to think and not to aim at the target? To have a better understanding of this seemingly paradoxical statement, let's listen to the lecture by Reverend Dr. Matsubara again. This is a glass of water, and then I put the dirt into it. Important thing is that this glass of water represents our mind. Now, I stir this glass of water. Now, it is impossible to identify what the contents are. Again, this glass of water symbolizes our mind, the state of our mind. Exactly, we don't know we are always wondering who we are, who we really are. So Zen tradition tells us how it is possible to clarify what the contents are. The tradition's answer is just to place this glass of water on a flat place and then just wait. Be patient. That is a tradition's answer to that question. After seconds, after minutes, we are getting to know what the contents are. The heavier things going down, lighter things going up, water is getting clearer. Let's say there are two stages of meditation. To place this cup of water on the floor, then everything calm down. That is the first stage, first phase of meditation. The second stage of meditation is the situation we can find something new. The something new I couldn't recognize when I had picked up the dirt before putting into this cup of water. Oh, I didn't recognize small bag here. I didn't recognize I picked up accidentally a piece of moss or leaves to find something new that is the second phase of meditation. But please remember the meaning of Zen. The meaning of the Zen is simply to place this cup of water on a flat place. That simple action is Zen itself. Buddhism, including Zen, teaches the importance of the way to see a thing as it is, trying to avoid any prejudice. This practice is called right mindfulness. According to Zen Buddhism, when you shoot a bow, the very process of thinking of the target or aiming at them is regarded as an unnecessary superfluous noise, that's to say an obstacle in an attempt of the right mindfulness. What we learned from the Japanese Kudo archery is actually completely different from Western rational thinking. Why does Zen address uh, that an archer shouldn't aim at the target at a glance? It's seemingly irrational idea, but actually it has also a rational background. Ancient Japanese archery is simple and light in the structure. It doesn't have its complicated structure like a Western rifle or crossbow gun. This means that for a Japanese archer, extreme concentration and relaxation of body mind are required. During thinking, human body subconsciously get tense and thus it gets too hard. And this mental and physical conditions causes fluctuations in many places of the body. When the somatic fluctuation is smaller than the error range of the shot, 
a bow would shoot the mark. So an archer shouldn't feel, uh, think or aim, but simply look at the target and let the bow go. This idea has its core essentials directly connected to the principles of AI computation, a convolutional neural network, CNN, or Bayesian statistics, though I won't discuss further in this talk now, related to this idea of no thinking. An ancient Japanese archery teaches another different meaning, that is, an oracle, or a fortune telling. Ancient Japanese people thought that, while having even no instant moment of thought, an archer simply draws a bow and the arrow goes after the god's will. There is a good example that is a widely known story of folding fun target in the tale of Heike. This story is based on a historical battle occurred in the year 1185 between the Heike Samurai clan and the Genji Samurai clan. Uh, this battle is called uh, the Naval Battle of Iyashima. Uh, this story shows Nasuno Yoichi, a young archery expert of the Genji, did hit the fan mark set uh, on a boat floating in the sea. The mark was set up by the Heike clan who prepared it as an oracle to the god of war. His shooting technique was so wonderful that even the opponent Heike samurai cheered for it. One warrior of Heike began to dance on the board. Then, the general commander of the Genji clan, Minamoto no Yoshitsune, ordered Yoichi to shoot the dancing warrior. All of a sudden, the warrior was killed by Yoichi's arrow, and everybody became quiet. Then, the battle had begun again. For his order to shoot the dancing warrior, Yoshitsune's ruthless character was criticized even by the allies. Finally, Yoshitsune was forced to commit suicide in the northern end of Japan with the age of 30. Once ordered, Japanese warrior archer hits the target without any thinking. In this context, we can argue that the spirit of archery in the Bushido, that is the way of warrior, is quite similar to AI or machine learning system, without any thinking and any hesitation. If we think that a living sniper shoots a living human as his or her target, we would easily see a variety of hesitation and psychological disturbance. But under AI system, in fact, a military drone would shoot the target without any thinking and any hesitation, lustrously. AI ethical problems related to the laser weapon is very important, so I'd like to leave it uh, for another occasion. This photo shows a stage scenery of a performance entitled Ocean by the New York Merch Cunningham Dance Company. This is a posthumous work of the music director of the company, John Cage, a collaborator and old friend. <laughs>